Cuéntame toda la noche, no nos queda mucho tiempo más. Okay, hi there, it's Robin Cassidy from The Wellness Hacker and welcome to my channel. If you have not been here before, please click the subscribe button, click the little bell, and if you like this video, please give me the thumbs up. All right, so today what do we wanna talk about? I wanna talk about vitamin C. Here it is, hope that got in focus. Um, this is a very powerful antiviral and that is important today as I'm sure, if you have your eyes open, you've been getting a little bit worried about the coronavirus. Now, as most of us know, antibiotics will not work against any viral infection. This is what makes things like this extremely useful. Uh, they can only be used for bacterial infections. So, how do we dose vitamin C to actually get it to work inside of our bodies, to drench our cells, to keep it there, and we don't just pee it out? Well, it's actually pretty easy, and you follow along the lines of a vitamin C flush. So again, if you are new to the naturopathic world, you might not have heard of a vitamin C flush, but it's actually a great way to detoxify your body because it makes you go to the bathroom, number one, which is actually what we're gonna talk most about, and that's called bowel tolerance. How do you get to bowel tolerance? How many grams or milligrams of this do you need to take to get to bowel tolerance? And that's gonna be the key to your body. All right, so again, let's back up for a second. If you take a lot of vitamin C, you will go diarrhea, or we're really gonna just get to a soft stool here. Bowel tolerance, when you start to feel like you've got some rumblings in your stomach. That will give you, you know, 1,000 grams less than that, or you can also multiply by 0.75, your total number of grams that you took that day, will give you your maximum amount of vitamin C that you should take without having any kind of problem. But really, it's not gonna be explosive diarrhea or anything like that. I don't want you to get scared of it. If you do it slowly, the way I'm gonna describe it, you're not gonna ever have a problem. All right, so what is that way? I wake up and I take 5,000 milligrams on a day that I'm gonna do this. So I know I have to get to around 18 grams. Now, supposedly, if you do this often enough, you're gonna saturate your cells and you're gonna be able to lower your dose over time. I haven't really found that to be true uh, for me. This is sort of like my sweet spot if I wanna get there, but I, I don't usually take 18, I take more like 10, just cause it's easier and I sort of take it twice a day and I feel like I've, I've gotten there. All right, so, and so this is what you do. You take 5,000, and I like to do, let me show you what this looks like. This is my other guy here. I like to do the capsules, which are the, the kind that you can open up and the powder comes out. You can also take straight powder and put it in your drink. I just find that's harder, and it's sometimes harder on my stomach, which is why some people take buffered vitamin C, which just means it has like a magnesium or a calcium in it, which is gonna help your stomach. But I find if I use these, I don't have a problem. And these, unlike the caplets, do not have a lot of filler in them. So this is my favorite. I take, this is also a great brand, by the way, always and all of their stuff. Uh, I take five. And again, I don't need to do all of this in front of you. I'll take one some water and I've already taken five actually this morning so this will be my 1,000 milligrams on top of my five and then plan here is to do this every 15 minutes to a half an hour I sort of stretch it out because every 15 minutes just becomes like I'm looking at the watch and trying to do it too quickly so it usually stretches to longer than that but the real key is I've got to write down where I am how many I've had and the first time you do this, it's extremely important because you need to start to figure out when you're starting to feel a little rumbling in your stomach. And if you have a soft stool, that means, oh, I'm, at, I'm there, I'm at bowel tolerance. That's my, what I'm supposed to have every day or before, a little bit below that to get to that point. Now again, when you're a little bit sick, you might find you need more. I usually need a little bit more and I just, I just try to get to that 18,000 real quick and then add a few more. This is what this way of doing it helps you to accomplish. Vitamin C is a water-soluble vitamin. That's why sometimes if you take vitamin C or other vitamins, you take a couple and you go to the bathroom an hour later and your pee is bright yellow. So you're wondering if you're peeing it out and if it's worth it. And you're right, it, you are peeing it out. It is coming out of your body. That's the good thing about it too though because you really can't uh, 
it's not toxic for you because it's water soluble and you're going to be able to get it out of your system. The key then is to stretch it out over time, all right? So you're going to take the 5,000, half an hour later, 1,000 more, half an hour later, 1,000 more. Now you're at 7,000 and you're going to keep going until you get to this rumbling feeling. And the great thing about doing it the first time, when you do sort of reach this detoxifying, because you are doing a vitamin C flush in effect, is that... Okay, you've detoxified your cells, you've drenched them with vitamin C. You know, this is, vitamin C is also supposed to be good, you know, not just for viral infections. It's supposed to be great for your hair, for your skin. I mean, it is good for both of those things. It's actually a natural sunscreen, by the way. Um, hair, skin, it's great for your cardiovascular problems or cardiovascular disease. It's actually been proven to reduce that. Again, there are a lot of studies that indicate it's good with cancer. This is a little controversial for the medical complex, but there are a lot of studies out there that are indicating that it's really good for cancer. You can find them online. It obviously boosts your immune system. First and foremost, it's a great antioxidant, so it's just good to drench your cells with all of these things. It actually helps you increase minerals. So one one in specific one specifically is iron it helps you have better iron absorption so for women especially at certain times of the month great thing to take it might help with weight loss um, and it's really good for your mind um, not just your memory but also your mood it helps you with that so all in all there's not a lot of downside to taking vitamin c you've just got to take enough of it and you can't just pop your thousand milligram pill in the morning or your 500 milligram pill, even though that's supposed to be more than the US RDA recommended dose, you're not gonna get much out of that. Uh, so try this mega dosing, this way of doing it spread out over time, and try to get up to, I would say at least 10,000 a day. That's actually what Linus Pauling took. For those of you that don't know him, he's sort of the father of this vitamin C movement. He lived to 94. He was a Nobel Prize winner in two categories. He won two, one in chemistry and one in the Nobel Peace Prize he won. Really impressive guy. Again, he was a little mocked for his deep belief in vitamin C and how good it was for you. But again, over time, a lot of his ideas have been proven more and more. So vitamin C is, is kind of the miracle drug it's claimed to be, the miracle supplement. Uh, and I highly recommend it and during cold and flu season stock up on it and if you can get your kids to take it you're really winning my kids are finally old enough where they can swallow these guys but I actually used to give them the gummies even though they're full of sugar I would give them the gummies they I would do like those vitamin C powder. Hi, so my camera battery died at the end of that last one and I did not know it until I started to edit it. So let me just finish what I was starting to say. I was talking about the kids and I actually have a great way to administer liposomal vitamin C to the kids using a frothing machine. Anyway, I'll show it to you in another video because it's actually really great for the littler kids and I use orange juice. Um, but I also wanted to just follow up and get, put a pin on all the research on vitamin C, and there's plenty of it. Um, it's actually, but again, it's about mega dosing, and that's maybe what is the element that hasn't worked for you in the past. If you're thinking, well, I've done, I've used vitamin C, and it doesn't shorten my cold or it doesn't help me at all, you do need the mega dosing, and that's actually been studied. You can look up different studies that go into, and they actually call it mega dosing. One references between six to eight thousand. Uh, grams of vitamin C in order to have the, the effect that you want and to reduce the cold. So before a cold, prophylactically, or at the onset of symptoms, the cold or the flu, it is particularly good against the flu. That's been stated in numerous articles in the, the National Institute of Health. You can look online and see all the different studies that have been done on this for many years. Again, though, mega dosing is the key. You can't just give yourself 200 grams or 90 grams, I think, is the US RDA. For some people, it's not enough. So even though that's what it says, you can also look and see true studies about how effective this can be against influenza, which is really important right now. We're having a bad influenza season, and there is the coronavirus out there, which Freaks me out, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm really trying to keep my family full of vitamin C and it's also been proven against pneumonia and sepsis. 
There's actually a case, and you might recall, where a guy was cured of sepsis by taking 100 grams a day. Originally, that's what they got the hospital to give him. The family did, because the, the hospital did not want to do that. This was in New Zealand um, for the swine flu back in 2009. And then they took him off it, and he started, he was on, at death's door before they gave him this vitamin C. Um, and then they took him off of it, and he started to relapse a little bit, and the family, had, they flew him to a different hospital. A couple more things happened, and they were able to get him on 50,000 a day. And he fully recovered. He's walking around. He's great. And if it wasn't for the vitamin C treatment, he, he wouldn't have made it through that one. And that's documented. So help sepsis, documented to help pneumonia, uh, can fight against the common cold, influenza. This is a great thing to have in your arsenal. You've got to have enough of it. So think about that right now. Have enough vitamin C. Be saturating your body now with it, which is what I'm doing, and with my kids as well. So enjoy.